about to go with the Haney's to the hospital. Yes, yes, we're going to do a WBC Cares visit, uh -huh. bring the kids uh, some joy and some message of inspiration for them to get back mm -hmm. and become champions. Okay, now let's talk to the matter. Define the franchise belt. Can you define it? The franchise is not a belt, it's not a championship, it's a designation given to elite unique fighters who carry the industry of the sport of boxing. Canelo Alvarez and Lomachenko are two sensational fighters who carry the industry. Uh, there are two fighters who move up in weight, up and down in weight, and who are fa facing the best opposition as possible. So this is a new concept. It was going to take some time for for it to be understood. In the meantime, I will take all the blame and all the punches. But this is not a popularity contest. This is a matter, innovation, uh, vision, visionary. Sorry, we can't film. There's no filming on property. Okay, unless it's a Because you will you. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, uh, can yep. you explain um, Lomachenko's response to that? He had no words that it was, uh... I believe it's a lost in translation situation uh -huh. uh, between his promotion and his management. He was in Cancun and he was very happy and he he was simply uh, we signed the the uh, document and everything seemed fine until a an interview in Ukraine and came yesterday. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, we jumped all over that. Gary, know that. Yeah. Because we don't fully grasp the franchise tag, and uh, many people, including myself, didn't understand it. And actually, fighters came out and said they wouldn't like it. And, and David that, Benavidez, Deontay Wilder. That's absolutely acceptable. And as I say, this is a, an innovation. Let it happen, let it grow, and let it flourish and we will see what, where it leads. The intention is to have the best fights possible being made and no obstacles for those great champions at the time. What's your response to the PBC now? I don't know, I haven't heard about that. I read uh, just a, uh, I've been in China, okay. so I just saw some posting, but I don't know anything about that. Uh, yeah. But there have been many belts. Uh, the forum, they did, uh, a great tournament in in Los Angeles at the LA Forum. Uh, so they would do tournaments and they had a beer sponsor uh, so that they would win a belt. It's good to have tournaments, it's very good. Billy Wanger, who is the uh, one of the upper echelon of Fox, said that they want to do it for the Andy Ruiz, Anthony Joshua, I mean, Andy Ruiz, Deontay Wilder fight. But it's all these belts, it seems like they're pushing, they're trying to push you out. Maybe, maybe push them in. Is that? Do you think that's the case? No, I don't know. It would be irresponsible for me to comment sure. because you. I don't know. I want to talk about the, uh, you guys adopting water and increasing the water. Let me explain. WADA is the World Anti-Doping Agency, and they are in charge of creating the rules for anti-doping worldwide. So they are the ones who set which. Uh, substances are illegal and what are, what are the threshold, the limits so Clenbuterol Clenbuterol is a uh, substance that is a health issue in Mexico and China because cattle are fed and then you, it goes through contamination when you eat beef uh, WADA had released in June a threshold for clenbuterol, giving a limit, anything underneath, uh, below, is a negative, it's not a doping. Above, it's for investigation, so... You think it just be zero? Like zero? It, it doesn't matter what I think, okay. it matters what WADA has as a rule. Okay. Why would I think something? I'm not one who creates uh, the law. If they have a threshold, it means that they recognize that there's a problem and that athletes who are not guilty are being punished. Does that conflict and with VADA? Are you accepting VADA? No, no, no. Everything is still... VADA, 
and WBC Clean Boxing Program go by the WADA rules. And your champion Deontay Wilder steps in the ring Saturday night. Uh, talk about some private conversation maybe you've had with Deontay Wilder over the years. This is attempt defense. Uh, Wilder is a great, great person, great friend. Uh, he's been with the WBC forever and uh, he's got a great family history. Uh, he learned uh, and got to love scuba diving in Cancun. So that was the, another good thing, roots of friendship. He's a great person. I love him and he's a great representative. We have had our issues. Uh, he has done comments and we talk but what he says is the big boy talking but what he really is he's a really caring nice person who represents the WBC so I just have him and I have him in a best of five years from now what will we say about the franchise now everybody's gonna be saying wow this is great we have why not Muhammad Ali first because at that time they didn't do it. No, no, I'm talking about just now. Why not, as you said, it's an honorary award. Why not do like the Roy Jones, the Muhammad Ali first? Why act the fighters first? Just out of curiosity. I'm just curious. I, I think you... It seemed like a, a, a luminarious position. That's why I'm no, but it's for active. It's to give the active fighter the possibility of making the best fights possible. It's for active fighters to move up in weight, to move down in weight, to fight against the, the fighters of other organizations, not to have obstacles for the great fights to happen. So if Kome or Tiafimo Lopez upsets Lomachenko next year, are they the WBC champion? They are not the franchise champion, no. But Devin Haney will have the belt. That's what I'm trying to get to understand. So if Devin Haney has the belt, and they unify because he's, because you're going to be at the fight, obviously, because he's a franchise champion. What happens if Lomachenko is upset and Devin Haney has the belt? And they say that they're unified. Even Carl Moretti said they're unified. I don't care, truthfully. Uh -huh. we, are, we are focusing on, on one small matter that is unified. Uh -huh. I'd rather have the best fights happen than to worry about what happens if. What happens if he loses, then it's not unified. How many unified champions immediately lose a belt? Because they, they are given a mandatory. How do you get to be mandatory? How, what's the process to be mandatory? Before, we didn't have four or five titles. Before it was, the contenders were of much more uh, level. Now you have so many champions that the contenders sometimes are not the best challenge for the great champion. We're talking about a, a franchise on very few limited situations. We have Canelo, we have Lomachenko. No need to worry next. about... No I don't one. see anybody. No, no one next, not Gary Russell, the longest no. reigning champion at 126? No, because he has not fought consistently because he has not uh, made the great fights happen. Gary Russell lost to Lomachenko. I'm just interested to see, because I don't want all but, I, but I'm not... No, I know, we know that. We I, not, I'm, I'm not disrespecting him. anyone. Yeah. He, and it's How did you choose Lomachenko? Because I did not choose he, him. He requested, Cadello requested. So we sent out a vote and we analyzed his history. Canelo and Lomachenko requested? Absolutely. Ooh, you just made headlines. Lomachenko. <laughs> you just made headlines. Lomachenko, uh -huh. top rank, requested. Uh -huh. And let me tell you, we analyzed the request. Uh -huh. Two time Olympic champions. Two time Olympic, two cycles Olympic champion. Champion in three different weight categories. And nobody can doubt he's in the top of the top of the top. He's top 10. Well, they they say like the Ring magazine has one and two, Canelo and Lomachenko. Sure, sure, sure. So, I mean, it's always up for discretion, and we're not going to say in discredit how talented they are. I just saw it odd that he hasn't defended the belt and he fought for a vacant belt, and now he's the franchise champ. When I saw you at Mexico, I said, 
that, that sounds pretty odd. It, it seemed like giving the last born child everything in the will. Well, that, that gives more credibility. Explain. Because it means we acknowledge the, the value of that specific fighter. Even he was not a WBC champion in his growing as a maturity. He won the championship. His, uh, the credit the credentials that he has are unquestionable. How did you define merit? Because when you said merit, I was like, well, maybe... Merit? Yeah, merit. Two-time Olympic okay. champion. Okay. Uh, champion in three different weight categories. And regarded as, as one of the best for several years. That's a merit. I appreciate it. I know you head to the hospital. Thank Excellent. you for your time, man. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.